Hi students, let's pass on to intersection of solids. Intersection of solid is slightly difficult chapter because you need good concept about projection of solids, the geometry of various solids, its orientations and about the surface peculiarities. In, in intersectional solids, we draw the joint between two solids when one solid penetrates another solid, the intersecting curve or intersecting lines. When a prism is penetrated by a prism or a pyramid, you get intersection lines. Agreed? When a cylinder is penetrated by a cylinder or a cone, etc., we get intersection curves. We have this intersection curve around us. Wherever one object is joined to another object, we do have intersection curves around us. We didn't notice particularly, that's all. Agreed? Now, this is a wall. Now, this is a wall. Don't consider this drawing. There is no drawing. Ignore this drawing. This is a wall. You penetrate a huge cylinder, cylindrical pipe onto this wall, perpendicular. Axis perpendicular. Penetrate the cylindrical pipe onto this wall. What is the joint? The joint is a circle, isn't it? The joint is a circle. Now, you penetrate the same cylinder to this wall at an angle like this. Let it go into the wall at an angle. What is the joint? The joint is an ellipse. Agree? The joint is an ellipse. So the intersection curve not only depends upon the shape of the two solids, but also on its orientation. But also on its orientation. The geometry of the solid is important. The orientation with which both solids are configured are also important. Either orientation penetrate Depending on the intersection curve. We have about 15 important questions. We have about 15, 1, 5 important questions to learn. I don't expect a question outside this 15 to come for your exams. So we are going to see intersection of prisms and the prism. One prism penetrated by another prism. In most of the universities, intersection of solids have been restricted to prisms by prisms and cylinder by cylinder. Pyramids and cones are avoided. When I did my BTEC, we had cone, pyramid, everything. Now it is not there in most of the universities. Agreed? So we are going to see prisms and prisms. Prism intersected by prisms versus prisms. We are going to see prism versus prism. One prism intersected by another prism. And out of this, when you say prisms, it, does, it, it includes triangular prism, square prism, pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism, etc. But most commonly, square prism are seen in question papers. Okay, we will cover some of the other prisms also. We will do the first problem. This is a square prism. A square prism. A square prism. 50 mm side, 100 mm long. A square prism, 50 mm side, 100 mm long, stand on HP on its base, with all base edges equally inclined to VP. All base edges equally inclined to VP. What is the plan? Plan is a square. Look at this. Plan is a square. What is the side? 50 mm side. What is the height? 100 mm axis. So 50 mm axis uh, side, 100 mm axis. I have drawn the plan and elevation of a square prism, where all lateral faces are equally inclined to VP. 45, 45. I have also drawn the end view. The shape of the elevation and the shape of the end view for a square prism are same. The shapes are the same. The shapes of the end view and the Elevation are same for a square prism. However, I have drawn an auxiliary x-ray line and I have adopted the procedure of projecting it. That is not actually necessary. You can take directly this width and draw this anywhere. No problem. 
the procedure is not very necessary okay now this prism is penetrated by another prism this prism is penetrated by another prism how is this prism standing this prism is standing like this square prism 45 45 now this prism is penetrated by another prism how is this prism how is the penetrating prism penetrating prism is like this not like this like this all lateral faces equally inclined to HP. All lateral faces equally inclined to HP. This is the way in which it is penetrating. How does it penetrate? It penetrates the vertical prism so that the axis of this prism cut the axis of the other prism. Vertical prism. Axis of the horizontal prism cut the axis of the vertical prism. How is this prism? This prism has its axis parallel to both planes and all lateral faces are equally inclined to HP. Even if you hold it like this, the axis is parallel to both planes. But the lateral faces are not inclined at same angle to HP or VP. If you fully hold like if you hold it like this, the axis is parallel to both planes, and all lateral faces are equally inclined to VP. If you hold it like this, what is the elevation? The elevation is a rectangle. What is this? This is side into root 2, diagonal, side into root 2. Side is 40. So what is this? 40 root 2. So draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle whose side is 40 root. One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash. What is its plan? Its plan is same. Its plan also is same. This is the plan. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. What is this side? This side is, this di dimension is 40 root 2. 40 root 2. And length like is 100. I am not marking the dimension 100. Both cases, the dimensions. Actually, the length of the prism is immaterial. When you consider the shape of the intersection curve, the length of the uh, prism is immaterial. Now, what is the NV of this prism? The NV of this prism, penetrating prism, is a square. NV of the penetrating prism is a square. How do you draw it? Mark half the, take this distance that is equal to this, mark it to either side, so connect. You have got what? You have got the NV of the penetrating prism. What is this? 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, 4 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash, 8 double dash. What have you drawn? You have drawn plan, elevation and the end view of the two prisms. One vertical prism penetrated by another horizontal square prism. Agreed? Now, after drawing plan, elevation and end view only, you can mark the intersection point. That's a difficult day in intersecting in this particular chapter. You have to draw plan, elevation and end view first. Then you have to start marking the points. So, unless you are very, very familiar with the shape and the procedure of drawing, you will find it difficult to manage time. Okay, so this has to be drawn as quickly as possible. So, after drawing this, what you do is, you mark where the horizontal edges of the horizontal prism, horizontal edges of the horizontal penetrating prism cut the vertical prism. What are the horizontal edges of the horizontal prism? 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7. 4, 8. 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 4, 8. Those are the horizontal edges of the penetrating prism. This cut the vertical prism. Those points we will mark first. You know, 1, 5 of the horizontal prism cut the vertical prism at P1. 2, 6, P2, 3, 7, P3, 4, 8, P4. On the other side, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. That is how you mark. One side P, other side Q. The intersection curve in the plan is finished. Now let us go to the elevation. This is P1. P1 is on 15. So project it up. On 1 dash, 5 dash, you have got P1 dash. So this is P1 dash. This is P3 dash. And the projected through P2 will coincide with P4. So P2 dash as well as P4 dash. Similarly, Q1 dash. Q3 dash, projected through Q2 will pass through Q4. So this is Q2 dash as well as Q4. Connect them.
This is the intersection curve in the animation and this is the intersection curve in the plan. When the horizontal prism goes into the vertical prism, this becomes dotted. This becomes dotted. And this is pushed out. It becomes pushed out. It is pushed out. It is no longer existing. So you have a rise down. Agreed? This is dotted because it is inside. This is, it is inside but not visible. This is to be erased. It cannot be dotted. Dotted means existing but invisible. Now it is not existing. It is gone out. It has gone out. So it can just be erased or you can keep the most very very light concession lines. Not dotted line. Dotted line means it is there but you cannot see. But it is not there now. So you cannot make them dotted. Make them very very light as concession line. Now when you come to the plan, this become dotted. Because it is existing inside, but you cannot see them. In the interview, there is nothing you can do. You need not do anything. I have drawn the interview to give you an idea how it passes through the center. Okay, this is the most commonly used question, uh, more commonly seen question in uh, examination. Very, very simple. If you want a dimension, I can mark that also. This is uh, how much? 100. And this height, or this length, also is hundred. Okay, this side, this side is. This also you can mark if you want. This is how much? Fifty root two, isn't it? Fifty root two, if you want, because this is this side is fifty. I have not marked it inside. That's. <laughs> I think it's clear. Okay, this is the first question, and this used to come for examination numerous times. Agreed? Thank you.